Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars figure review. Um, before I got to the Imperial Shuttle, I just wanted to give you a look at quite a unique figure from Episode 1 back in 1999. Um, this is a deluxe Episode 1 figure and uh, it's the first time I've ever shown you this character I think except for in the Episode 1 commemorative tin. It's this guy here, the deluxe Darth Maul. Really quite a strange figure. Um, as you'll notice, got a lightsaber attached to his back, and you may be wondering what that's for. Well, if you just look there, there's a little button. When you press that down, it's got the little like kind of slashing action. I do think that this looks a lot better without the lightsaber on it, and when you just press the button on his back, I think that makes it look a lot better and it moves a lot smoother like that as well being an episode 1 figure he's not very um, articulated he's got a swivel neck swivel shoulders and swivel forearms swivel waist and swivel hips he's actually one of my favourite Darth Maul figures and one of my first um, episode 1 figures and we're getting a decent view of that you see he comes with his lightsaber and uh, is included with the lightsaber as well here it is yeah, I know it's not much but still pretty cool nonetheless nice little addition it's just like a mini version of the lightsabers that I've shown you before you just flick it out and the blade extends as you can see it's not very big so you can't really use it for much it is really cool that they included this. There were other figures released like this as well. There was a um, Darth. Uh, there was a Darth Maul figure, uh, Obi Wan, and also Qui Gon, if memory serves. I never actually got around to getting the other two figures, but if I do find them, maybe one day I'll get around to buying them. And now the uh, feature doesn't seem to want to work. There you go. We've got to really position it right to get the uh, action feature to work. There we go. It's not a lot, but it's better than him doing nothing at all. And I just think it's a really, really cool little figure. Just something a little bit different. So I hope you enjoyed having a look at this figure. We've got a decent look at it. And I'll be back with some more reviews as soon as I can. Hopefully with the Imperial Shuttle next, whether it be today or tomorrow, I will try and get that done. So until my next review, keep collecting and may the force be with you.